Hey YouTube, it's Maddie from Sofa Tea Time, and today I'm going to be talking about a couple of my retail experiences, uh, mostly the bad ones and my pet peeves. So to first start off, um, I work in two areas in retail uh, at the same um, store. So uh, the first area I work in is a photo lab, and um, there's a lot of a uh, I prefer working in there over working in the other place, which I work in a camera slash cell phone department, uh, but there's pet peeves in both of them. So the first one is, I'll just start over with the photo lab and the passport area, is I take passport photos for people. And it's really irritating because half the time people will come in and be like, I need a passport. And I'll be like, okay, would you like a Canadian passport, sir, ma'am? And then they'll be like, well, what other passport are there? And I say, like, there's lots of others. We have Canadian citizenship card, we have permanent resident, we have the U.S. green card, and then they're, they'll, like, go in there and they'll be like, no, it's just, like, a regular passport, but it's not for a passport. And so I'll say, okay, so I'm assuming it's, like, the same size as the Canadian passport. And they're like, well, yeah, like, aren't they all the same? No, they're not. And then, of course, I'll take the picture and I'll cut the photos, and then they'll show me their requirements and they're like, it needs to be a 2x2, two two, which is the size of the American passport. So I get really ticked off with that because it's like, why didn't you specify this before? The other thing I don't like, pertaining to the passports again, is I will always get these people coming in with their little memory sticks and their USB drives and they like to scam and be cheap and try to get their passports through our printers because it's a lot cheaper. But I tell them every time that even though they try to print it through our printers, the Canadian government for the U.S. citizenship or the visa or any sort of Canadian document is going to turn it down. Same with the Chinese visa and the Korean passport. Like, they don't accept it. And, like, I try to tell them every time, like, you can't use our watermark printer. You can't use paper that comes out of a photo lab. You have to use this special kind of paper. And they'll be like, well, I can't because the person who I need to take the picture of is out of the country. That's not my fucking problem. Like, you should have thought of this before. Like, I'm not, like, I can do it for you. You're just going to waste your time, though. So that's the other thing that I find irritating. Um, all right, and then the third thing is... Um, pet peeve with the photo lab is people and how retarded they are when it comes to using our kiosk and like things for printing out photos. Literally I have to sit there and hold people's hands sometimes. I'm like just fill out your name. It's a touch screen. Can you not type your fucking name? And like they don't know how to do that. Like they're like huh I need you to do it for me. It's like I can't drop everything and help you with everything. Can't you figure things out? Like and these aren't even like old senile ladies. These are like middle-aged to younger people who are technologically retarded. Like they don't get it and it's just irritating because they waste so much time. Um, so yeah, but now past that is on to the camera slash cell phone department. Um, I usually like selling cameras because I'm pretty knowledgeable about that area, but the real pet peeve is with the cell phones. Now the biggest pet peeve with the cell phones is every time I try to sell a cell phone to someone, we have to have these certain um, limits because we can't just give out expensive phones for just to anyone. So you have to have like good credit card um, payments and like valid pieces of pieces of ID, and you have to be on certain contracts and all that jazz. But you'll get people that come in, and they're almost all the time off the street drug dealers who are looking for expensive phones and I have to tell them every time sorry sir uh, your name is not Nancy like like you are obviously a credit card fraud like I'm sorry Nancy like you're using Nancy's credit card oh that could be my wife that could be my girlfriend bring in Nancy and maybe I'll give you the phone like you're not Nancy you can't give me a piece of ID that says Phil on it and then show me another credit card that says Nancy, completely different last name. Like, you better prove to me she's your wife, because you ain't getting this phone. And then they, like, of course, blow up in your face, say that you're rude to them, like they're going to bring the company down and all that jazz. So that's really irritating, and um, I could go on and on for a long time, but um, I think I'll just better wrap it up. Um, and uh, just, yeah, don't work in cell phones. 
Like, working in a photo lab's fun, but don't work in cell phones. You're gonna want to kill yourself. Alright, thanks to YouTube, see you next time. <laughs>